next post is just one of my new woke white friends that's just like, I'm not racist. That's it. Every day for the last year, just a different white person popping up. Like, look at me. Look at this article I shared to my Instagram story. I'm not racist, right? It's not like you have it or you don't have it. Like, being racist is more, it's like being hungry. You know? It's like, yeah, you're not right now. <laughs> you know? It's like, yeah, you're not hungry right now, but a cheeseburger could cut you off on the highway. <laughs> and you get hungry. You were hungry all day. <laughs> The cheeseburger's Jewish in that joke. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The cheeseburger is whatever, whatever type of cheeseburger you thought it was. <laughs> in your racist heart. <laughs> anyway. That's it, I just get online, read opinions from people. The news, like other news is kind of like, this is the most divided this country has ever been. It's like, with the, like the red states and the blue states. It's like, why? Because we tweet at each other? <laughs> you know we had a war, right? <laughs> you know this country had a civil war? That was pretty divided. <laughs> like, at least nowadays we're communicating with each other. Back then, those guys never, they got the news like once a month. Some guy would come by on a horse and they were like, who's talking shit? <laughs> the civil war was basically just the North just shooting racism out of the South. <laughs> That's what happened. The North was like, South, fucking chill. And the South was like, no. <laughs> so a bunch of guys had to walk down there and shoot them a lot. And they were like, all right. We'll let them go. But we're not gonna be nice to them for a while. <laughs> until we find out they're good at football and then roll tide. <laughs> <That was fucking laughs> Hey, roll damn tag. <laughs> I don't like uh, I don't like Alabama football. I watched I just watched this documentary on Alabama football. It's great. It's about well, it's not, I don't know. I don't know if you should say it's great, but <laughs> it's about it's about Alabama football. It's about when they desegregated their football team. So up until this point, Alabama football was just white. <laughs> All right, and everybody down there was pumped on that. They would pack the stadium. Everyone would be like, look at all those whites. <laughs> Running around, catching it. <laughs> hey, look, I'm not knocking them too hard because I still have a little bit of that in me. You know, like if a white guy catches the ball on Sunday, I'm like, oh shit, go, 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 go. <laughs> ah, they got him. <laughs> they got him. It's a tough run, a smart run. <laughs> Heads up run there. <laughs> But no, they took it too far. And uh, so the documentary focuses on that. It focuses on Bear Bryant. Bear Bryant, legendary head coach. He was the head coach that brought the first black players onto the team. So the whole documentary is like celebrating Bear Bryant. They're like, fucking way to go, Bear. You did it. What a hero. And then you find out it was 1971. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, a little late for high fives on this one, fellas. Holy shit, 71? Like, we had been to the moon. <laughs> there were literally people on the moon before Alabama had black guys in their secondary. Does anyone understand? There were white corners. White cornerbacks. You understand how preposterous that is? Some of, some of you are too young to have ever even seen a white corner. They're extinct. They don't exist. There, there's two left at the San Diego Zoo. And they won't, they won't reproduce. You'll never see a white corner. But that's what happened. It wasn't like, the reason they desegregated the team, it was, that's what the documentary focuses on, which is great, because it wasn't like, oh, hey, fellas, it's 1971. Maybe we should get with the times. What happened was Alabama scheduled USC, Southern Cal. 
Alabama was confident. They're like, "Our oh, white boys are, <laughs> we'll take on anybody." And then USC came down to Alabama with a bunch of black dudes from LA, just beat the fuck out of Alabama. <laughs> and then after the game, Bear Bryant gave like a speech, and he was like, "Hey y'all, come on." <laughs> and that was it. That's all it took. Everybody down there was like, "Yeah, we get it. We'll, we'll, we'll be less racist if it means we can win." We can win. What? That's what it is. Like, as big as racism is in America, football. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Look, they go, there's a Disney movie, Remember the Titans, dedicated to what I just told you. The whole point of that, dude, that was one high school football season. Remember the Titans was like, it was eight weeks. You know, that whole town went from like centuries of like, don't let them in our school, to just like, oh shit, the high school team's 4-0? Those are my brothers. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is if you want to get rights in America, you just got to put together a good football team. You know what I mean? Like if the transgenders, if the transgenders got together, and put together just a fucking hard nose, <laughs> run it down your throat ball club. <laughs> if the trans is just three yards in a cloud of dust of <laughs> transgenders. If the trans if the trans community could just somehow upset Alabama. <laughs> everybody down there tomorrow would be like, those are some tough bitches, actually. <laughs> I <laughs> All right, we got out of that. There's some rough patches in there. That's all right. Well, this won't go great either. Uh, <laughs> you know how, like, every show and movie now is, like, a remake of something? They just remake an old thing and just make it, like, more progressive and just put it out. Like, they remade, they remade Ocean's Eleven, like a heist movie with, like, all gorgeous women. That movie should have been 10 minutes long. They literally should have got to the casino and just blown the security guards. They were like, oh, here's the keys to the safe. Take everything. I love you. You guys, you crazy bitches. I love you bitches. <laughs> I just, that's it. That's all they make. They either make that or they make like, they make slavery movies every year. Those are for no one. I have black friends. I was like, dude, you guys, you guys like these? They're like, no, we thought you got, these were for you. I'm like, no, we all hate those. Stop making them. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> Civil rights movies are good though. I like, like, uh, like Judas and the Black Messiah was sick. Remember the Titans is great. <laughs> Hidden Figures was good. The, the movie about the black ladies at NASA, or as my dad likes to call it, Medea goes to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that was him that said that. He said that. As soon as he said it, I was like, what did you fucking say? You don't talk like that. <laughs> so every movie just remade is more progressive. I just think it'd be funny if, like, the right started remaking. You know what I mean? If they just start, like, conservatives. Like, there's a new Scooby-Doo coming out. And it'd be funny if, like, the right remade it it's just like scooby and the gang going around ripping the wigs off of transgender people it's like that's not a woman <laughs> some guy i would have got away with it <laughs> we solved the case of the starbucks ghoul <laughs>